Hi, I'm Neil Moody and welcome to my Cornrows and Curls hair tutorial. Let's begin. Spritz towel dried hair with a primer detangling spray, like the Biolage All-in-One Coconut Infusion or Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Spray a generous amount all over your hair so when you add the main styling product it will distribute more evenly. Next layer with L'Oreal Techniart Plea or Biolage Texturizing Styling Spray and apply throughout your hair making sure that the product is applied from the roots right the way through to the ends. Power dry all your hair away from your face until dry. If you want, you can leave the top areas where the cornrows will be very slightly damp, as this will help when you cornrow to get them a little tighter, but make sure that the ends are completely dry. For the cornrows, section your hair into five equal segments across the head from ear to ear, or you can do more segments should you choose with the top segment going right down the middle of the head. At the front hairline of the top middle segment, take a small piece of hair and split into three even pieces like so. Begin to braid the hair by crossing the outer edge sections under the middle one. You will now begin to create what is known as a Dutch braid cornrow. With this technique, the braid will sit outwards as opposed to inwards, which is what would happen if you cross the outer sections over the top of the middle one. I personally think the Dutch braid technique looks more effective on the style I'm creating. If you've never cornrowed your hair before, then this may take some practice, but please be patient. Practice makes permanent. Continue the cornrows right the way through to the nape of the neck and tie with a small snag-free elastic to secure each finished braid. Braid the rest of your five segments in the same way. So to repeat, take a small piece of hair and split into three pieces. Create the base of the braid by crossing one of the outer sections under the middle section. As you cross over each outer section, this will become your new middle section. Continue the cornrow by constantly adding small pieces of hair from your main section to each outer piece of your braid before crossing it under the middle one. As I mentioned before, perfecting this technique will come in time. So braid the rest of your segments in exactly the same way. And now all your hair is braided, you have the option to leave your hair out at the back to hang straight or finish braiding each section right the way through to the ends as shown here. But if you want to achieve the look with curls, then continue watching the video. With the pieces of hair left loose at the ends of the braids, section this hair into small strands like so. If you haven't already layered with a heat protection spray, then spritz each section with a light hold heat protection hairspray. For example, Living Proof Style Lab Control hairspray. But if you've already used a heat protector, then just spritz each section with a light hold hairspray. For example, Sam McKnight's Modern hairspray. Begin to set the lengths with a small size curling tong to create a soft corkscrew curl. If you don't have this kind of curling iron, then you could set the hair on small bendy rollers or twist the hair into tight knots and spray with some hairspray. Then diffuse this hair until it's completely dry and cooled down. Then undo the twist. Once you have the curls, take a large paddle brush or flat bristle brush and brush through all the spiral curls so that they completely loosen out. Gently back brush the curls as shown here to create more volume and even spray the curls with a texture spray like Redkin's Windblown Number no. 5. Finally, spritz the whole look with some hairspray, for example, Sam McKnight's Modern Hairspray, to keep it all in place. And there you have the finished cornrow braids with curls. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is here, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.